Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Masika Michael, uh, teaching chemistry at Nasokon Girls in West Pokot County. Uh, remember to subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel so that you can get notified when I, apply, I upload a new video. Today I'm going to take you through a uh, determination of freezing point and uh, that is a question on KCC 2005 paper 3 question 1 and before I do that remember uh, freezing is the change of state uh, from uh, a liquid state to solid state on cooling so in, during that year the students were provided with solid M uh, test tube so they were told that you are required to determine the freezing point of M and the procedure given was uh, place 150 cubic centimeters of tap water in 200 ml beaker then heat the water to near boiling next using a test tube holder immerse the test tube containing solid M into hot water ensure that half the test tube is immersed Continue heating the water until the solid starts to melt. Insert a thermometer into the liquid being formed in the test tube. And note the temperature when the entire solid has melted. Record the temperature in table 1. Remove, remove the test tube from hot water and immediately start a stopwatch and record the temperature of the contents of the test tube after every half minute and complete the table that is at table one the diagrammatic representation of that procedure is that we have a water in a beaker that is being heated there is a test tube containing solid m and that solid m uh, there is also a thermometer that has been uh, immersed uh, there and after some time the boiling tube has been removed from uh, water and there is a thermometer in that boiling tube that is now having liquid M because solid M has melted and now the temperature of liquid M is going to be recorded after every uh, half a minute so when the temperature was uh, recorded after every half a minute it was found that at time zero the temperature was 82 degrees celsius at time half the temperature was 73 degrees celsius at one minute the temperature was 69 at one and a half minutes the temperature was 68 it remains constant it remained constant at time at two minutes and at two and a half minutes the temperature was still 68 degrees celsius at three minutes it dropped to 66 at three and a half minutes it dropped to uh, 65 uh, degrees celsius so as a student, it was very important that uh, you completed uh, this uh, table. Remember there are marks for completing the table. There are marks that were added for completing the table. But ensure, always ensure that when completing table or temperature that uh, you have used uh, either a whole number or if you don't use a whole number, you record the temperature uniformly to 0.5 or 0.5. At zero. Then there was there is a mark for decimal for decimal place, which is just a free mark that can easily be scored as long as you are recording all the values uniformly either as whole numbers or as a, a, as a one decimal place or 0.5. Then there is a mark uh, for for trend. As you can see, if you just followed the procedure well and carefully came without missing or doing small uh, mistakes the temperature was supposed to drop from time zero to time uh, to time one and a half then remain constant then drop that was the trend that was expected then there's a mark for or there's a mark for accuracy that uh, was also there for graphs then after that students were told uh, to plot a graph of temperature against time to plot a graph of temperature against against time using the values that they had in the table so when the students were told that there were considerations that were made here
In graph type drawing, the first thing is to label the axis. The instruction was that you plot a graph of temperature against time. So label the axis. And on the y axis, we are supposed to have temperature in degree Celsius. Don't forget the units. Temperature in degree Celsius against time in minutes. Once you do that, for labeling of the axis, you get half a mark. Then for the scale, there is another half a mark for the scale. Now, for you to get uh, that half a mark for the scale, your plotted points must occupy at least three quarters of your y axis and of your x axis. Now, for you to be able to do that, uh, let me start by talking about the, the, the y axis, that is the axis for, uh, on which temperature had been placed. Looking at the values that we have for temperature, the lowest value for temperature is 65. So if we start from zero for temperature, then chances are very high that our 64 might be up here. So to avoid that, we started uh, for temperature, we started with, with 64 as our lowest temperature. Then the time we started at, at zero, so that when we plot, when the time was zero, when the time was zero, the temperature was at 82. When the time was a half, that is 0 0.5, the temperature was at 73, around here. When the time was uh, one minute, the temperature was uh, at 69, somewhere around there. When the time was uh, one and a half minutes, uh, the temperature was uh, at 68. When the temperature was at 2 minutes, the time remained constant at 68. When the temperature was at 2.5, when the time was at 2.5 minutes, the temperature had uh, still remained constant at uh, 68. Then when the temperature, uh, when the time was 3 uh, minutes, the temperature dropped to 66, which is around there. When the time was at 3.5 uh, minutes, the temperature had dropped again uh, to 65. So that after that, we join the points using a free hand, like that. Join the points using a free hand, without using a ruler, uh, like that. So that now, the mark for plotting, we get one mark for plotting. And the curve, once you have a smooth curve, we get one other mark for you to get the three marks for drawing of that uh, graph. Then, uh, finally, you have been asked that uh, from the graph, determine the freezing point of solid air. So to determine the freezing point, you will check on the graph where the temperature remained constant. And using a dotted line, we shall show that that is where the temperature remained constant was at A. So which means the freezing point of uh, liquid M is at 68 uh, degrees Celsius. The freezing point of liquid M uh, is 68 uh, degrees Celsius. Where the temperature remained constant, that is where the liquid uh, started uh, to freeze. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Uh, remember uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be notified when I upload the next video.